everyone. This is Uma coming to you on Wednesday, December 20th, which your daily Twin Flame reading. I'm going to be pulling the cards from Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue, Angel Tarot Card deck by Doreen Virtue, and I'm going to end with an affirmation for your daily mantra from the Power of Love, James Van Prog deck. Okay, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and do our columns. We do five columns, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine, one for Couples in Union, one for Couples in Union, I'm sorry, in separation but communicating, and then one for couples in separation and not communicating. Here we go. So what is the energy of the Divine Masculine today? Wednesday, December 20th, what is his energy concerning his twin flame? This one. Finances and career, and for the Divine Feminine. worked waiting for okay so let's go ahead and start with the divine masculine we have finances and career so we know that this is affecting his thought processes right now let's get some clarifiers please seven of water queen of air page of earth Okay, so what we know is that regardless of where the Divine Masculine is, whether he's in union, separated but talking, or separated and not talking, he is considering all things right now, okay? Because it says here, finances and career are an, a factor in your love life right now. What does that mean? It means that he wouldn't be considering these things if he wasn't ready to make a decision in some shape, way, or form. So there's something coming up where he's ready to make a move, to make a change, and that's why he's having to make all these decisions. So the first decision is seven of water. An emotional decision needs to be made. He's looking at the pros and cons. He's going back and forth in his head as to what will work, what won't work, and he's looking to find his way out of that. I know he's going to make a decision and it's going to be for his best and highest good because we have Queen of Air. She makes decisions logically, okay, not from the heart. So for those of you that still have third-party karmic connections, that's a really good sign because he's not being swayed by temptation or lust or enjoyment. He's making really sound, firm, mature decisions now. This is who I want. This is who I want to be with. This is the person that is right for me. So depending on where you are on that spectrum, will depend on the results of today. Now, page avert is a great sign. It usually talks to good news about financial matters, wanting to do something more challenging and a new area of study. Pages are always messages. So the fact that he's considering his finances and career today, page avert is bringing in some, some form of opportunity to him concerning his finances and career. And it's usually a good sign. It says good news about financial matters. So again, depending on where you are in your journey and what's going on with him and with you, okay, you can either expect to get some good news yourself today if all his things are lining up, or we're going to go to your card, which talks about worth waiting for. So right now, that is the energy of the Divine Masculine. So we're going to keep that over there. And let's go to you, Divine Feminines, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So it makes sense now, right? A lot of stuff going on there, a lot of shifting and changing, and Spirit is asking you, be patient. So let's see what's happening. The Hermit, Nine of Earth, Ten of Water. Beautiful cards, Divine Feminine. So let's jump into this. You have two cards here that talk about being alone today. But it's about enjoying your own company. Nine of Earth is about being single, but being alone, but enjoying it, okay? And the hermit talks about deep self-discovery. Ten of water, contented and rewarding family life, emotional needs met, trustworthy relationships. So what does this all mean for you? Even if you don't hear from your significant other today, even if you don't hear from the divine masculine today, rest well because all is well. As we've seen from his cards, it's not about temptation or lust or deception. He's really getting his life together. 
So spirit is asking you to work on yourself while he's working on himself. So we find today that the divine masculine and feminine are doing their work. The divine feminine is doing her inner work, healing herself of old past hurts, blame, shame, regret, guilt, all that stuff. And the divine masculine is healing his outside influences, his career, his finances, taking a more objective look at things. Okay? So right now we see both twin flames working together. All right. Let's jump into the couples that are in union. You're either married, dating, living together. You're with your person. Let's see what the energy is for you guys and your relationship today. Spirit, can we get one card, please? Past life relationship. So let's get your clarifiers. The lovers. Five of air and the magician. Today, spirit is reminding you that you guys have a deep connection. You have two twin flame cards being pulled, the past life relationship and the lover's card. And the advice here is to remember your emotional eternal bond. Okay, remember your bond. So if you're being challenged today, and I suspect you are because five of air talks about unwise choices, reviewing everyone's motive. So either there was a third party involved, you found out about it, you guys are healing from it, or there's some sort of deception involved between you two. You're not communicating well or you're hurting each other. Spirit is asking you to drop all that and go back to remembering that you were drawn to each other for a reason. Okay, you were drawn to each other for a reason. And you have the power to manifest a better future for you and your significant other. It talks about life is magical. You have the resources or ability to manifest them, right? You were ready. So whatever conflict comes up today for the couples in union, remember your roots. Remember why you guys are doing this, why you're here together and what you're meant to create together. And then draw on your magical powers to bring that back in. You know your twin flame better than anybody else knows that person. So what do they like to do? What would they like to be done for this situation to resolve? Get back to your place of peace and harmony, okay? That is the energy of today for twin flames in union. Okay, let's now go to twin flames that are separated and communicating. Twin flames separated and communicating. Unrequited love. So let's see what the clarifiers are. Five of Earth, Ace of Fire, King of Air. So for those of you that are separated and communicating, needs are not getting met. Okay, either one or both parties are feeling unfulfilled in the interactions. It talks about there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So you feel almost like you're doing, you know, the, the actions without thought, without feeling. You feel like you're just going through the day-to-day. -day. So there's some kind of unrest here. And we can see that because Five Avert talks about fears, insecurity, uncomfortableness, you know, not being comfortable with each other. So there's some kind of awkwardness here. But the Ace of Fire talks about an exciting new opportunity. And then the king of air talks about speaking your mind with confidence. So what I'm reading from this is this is what's going to push this. So one of you or both of you are not feeling quite comfortable with the interactions with each other today. Either you want more and you're not getting it or you've been wanting more and you've just not been saying anything. But today's the day you're going to say something. And when you say something, it's going to cause some initial discomfort. But remember, fives are numbers that are temporary. And if you do it in a great way, 
you can find yourself having an opportunity come your way, right? Because Ace of Fire talks about opportunities. So there's a chance here for you to turn the game around. And this is for the twin flames that are separated but communicating. But it's going to take some acknowledgement of where you are and being willing to going into that pain and discomfort to bring about this, okay? The exciting new opportunity, whatever that may be. Okay, let's now finally go to twin flames that are separated and not communicating. What is the energy for these couples? Calling in your soulmate and your clarifiers are three of air, the sun, the wheel. So what does this say? It says that you guys are not having any sort of communication. And if you want to amp things up and make things start moving, you have to do things to call in your soulmate. It actually says on here, pop prayers, affirmations, visualizations. If you need some help with this, I, I am doing emergency readings today. I have time on my schedule today, Wednesday, to do some emergency readings so I can help you with this. Okay, give you some ideas about what you can do. Now, Three of Air talks about healing. So today is a day of also healing your inner self. And I feel that you're going to be successful because you get two of the most positive cards in the deck. The sun talks about a successful time. So something happening for you that you've been wanting for a long time and it finally comes in. And the wheel talks about a situation that suddenly moves forward. So do you see what's going on here for you guys, twin flames that are separated and not communicating? If you do some sort of spiritual work today, okay, do some sort of spiritual manifesting work, it's going to work because it's going to start the healing process for you and your twin, and then you can see a situation suddenly move forward, okay? So for some of you, that means you can actually get your twin to communicate with you today. And then for some of you, it's just getting that peace and comfort that you need at this time. Okay, so see how that fits for you because I am reading for the collective. Okay, let's go into, I'm sorry, the bottom of the deck. So bottom of the deck cards, we have 10 of fire. So we know that we've been seeing it throughout here for different people. We know that there's still some discontentment and stress about your status with your twin flame. So it's not everything's all right and just. But we have night of air, events that will occur with great speed. So if you decide to stay on the up and up, you can expect things to change really quickly today. Then we have king of fire, okay, focusing and communicating with vision, which talks about moving forward steadily, being positive, manifesting, you know, using your fire energy, using your manifesting ability. And then we see Eight of Earth. Oh, I can't even stop because i got to go to the Seven of Earth. The Eight of Earth talks about studying, knowing all there is about a topic, throwing yourself into your work. So for many of you, we're going to be seeing some self-healing today, working on yourself, allowing yourself to grow and expand. And then Spirit's message for you, oh my gosh, is Seven of Earth, which talks about this pause that you're feeling today, right? It's temporary. It's unnecessary worry, it says on the card unnecessary worry because the seeds have been planted. What's essential right now is for you to just stay on the up and up because you finally come out with six of air. I promise I'm going to stop after two of water. <laughs> six of air, the end of a difficult situation, taking a trip together with your loved one, just moving on from the past and bringing you back to your twin flame. That's the two of water. That's a twin flame card. Okay. A relationship continues to grow deeper. So what we see here is a commitment from each of you wanting to come back down here, but it's going to be almost like the motto, slow and steady wins the race. All right, your mantra for today. Responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. So today, no matter what comes your way, if you choose to be responsible, and it is 10-10, guys, 
It is 1010 as I'm saying this. If you choose to be responsible for your actions, your thoughts, your words, your deeds, many of you can actually see a big turnaround today. A big turnaround. But it's going to take some responsibility. All right, that is it. That is your Twin Flame reading for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you that need emergency readings, I am available today. Just go ahead and email me and we can get you on the books. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.